This is my indie film review of the idea of manhood for UK film review. Uh, it's written and directed by Sergei Kushner, and it stars Jeremy Kushner and Carl Burry as two friends who have reconnected um, seemingly at random where um, Jacob is living um, at home. His wife and kids have gone away um, for the week and he's sleeping late, he's drinking beers at night and things. Um, but then suddenly his friend Sandy kind of just drops in um, unannounced and the two spend the day together. Uh, and that's the setup for the whole film. It's the, the passing 24 hours basically. And I'm always a big fan of that kind of setup in film. I think it's nice when it's a very kind of um, set, time there's not like a need to sprawl it out over weeks and months um it keeps the storytelling really tight and actually this film benefits from that um the conflict of the story really is that jacob is much like a family man and he lives the kind of nuclear lifestyle or what that's what it seems and he plays it safe in, in most regards whereas sandy is a freelance writer and he has very kind of, um, shall we say, he's opinionated. He he, he likes to um, make a point and he, he doesn't really like people and you know, very rarely gets impressed by things. And he wants to kind of live more of like a nomad's kind of life and go out there and um, just travel the world. And he, he's drinking beers at 10.30 in the morning um, when he rocks up, whereas Jacob you know, has coffee and things. So... The two go out and they start to sort of just have these chats and they get quite heated at times and you know they, they, they're challenging each other on their life decisions and really getting to grips with their friendship and and you know maybe trying to help each other but in a way that seems like they're very sort of um, strongly uh, they feel strongly about what's happened in their lives. Um, the the film uses a few different locations so there's like mostly Jacob's house, but they also go out onto the streets in DC and um, they're sort of, those are actually really great. It breaks it up. I could easily have seen this being like a kitchen kitchen sink kind of film where they just stay in one room, but actually by getting out a little bit, it helped to, to allow it more breathing room because at the end of the day, it is essentially really these two main characters talking for most of it, which is really the strength because what I loved about the film was the fact that it was two male characters going at this really balanced kind of dialogue about what it means um, to be an adult, in particular being a man, and finding happiness and relationships and being a father and lots of things. There's so much there that they were covering. And it wasn't a way of sort of saying, okay, well, the, the guy who has the family, of course, he's super happy because that's what we're always told in films. Or or the guy who's got the freedom, he's super happy. Like, No, there's, it's really complicated. They each have pros and cons to their lives and I think they end up trying to sort of justify their way of life by attacking the other and, and that becomes quite interesting to see played out. It's not something I've seen particularly often where you get male characters opening up like this. Um, it's the kind of film that you can imagine you'd have this kind of chat after you've had a few beers with your friends and you just it's getting late um, but this has more honesty to it because it's, it's played out throughout the day and the characters don't really do that. Uh, it's certainly not for the bulk of it. Um, there is an introduction of some other characters, some younger characters who come in um, for like a barbecue and that's okay. Um, it, they get a bit kind of like, it starts to have this generational um, bit where they're talking about Instagram and selfies and things like that. And it, that felt a little bit tedious, if I'm honest, because I think it was disrupting what was really the heart of the film, which was these two characters, because it suddenly shifted towards these younger characters um, I can see what they were trying to do. You know, it's, it's all part of this like rumination on life. But for me, it wasn't the most interesting part. The most interesting part really is when um, it gets quite heated between Jacob and Sandy, especially when um, Jacob's marriage starts to become um, more talked about. I won't go into any spoilers about that, but it is really, really powerful. Um, it's brilliantly filmed. It's really smooth. Uh, it's great use of music. It's not too overbearing. Allowing you, know, the, the strength is the script, it is the dialogue, and it is the um, these two characters and the great performances. Um, both of both the guys, uh, Kushner and Burry, um, really, really uh, great performances, holding up feature length film, and it has this kind of Woody Allen style feel of it, just sort of sprawling over the, the city and just chatting about what comes in their head. Um, 
and they're not giving you lots. You know, there's, there's no car chases, there's no random scene that's going to just elevate you, know, like a someone shoplift or something. You know, it, it's quite calm throughout. The, that's a bold thing to do for a feature length film, um, and it works. It keeps you engaged throughout. Um, I was very impressed. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the idea of manhood. Um, I'll try and uh, let you know where you can watch it. Came out a few years ago, so it should be available somewhere. Um, and there'll be a link to at least the trailer underneath, so you can always check out the filmmaker and the company and things to see if there are any um, information where you can find it. But yeah, I really do recommend it.